Hello everyone, Dream Envoy here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we began traveling through the Forest Temple, our first temple of the game. In this part, we're gonna continue on. If you remember from last time, the four temp torches powering this elevator had been stolen by Pose. Two Poes ended up going into the Northwest and the Northeast. We haven't found them yet, but hopefully we can find the other two. If we go ahead and take on the other paths. First up, we want to go down the Western paths. Get another Skullshula, which is, can be taken out pretty pathetically. Wish they dropped items, but currently they don't. Right off the bat, we're gonna have a bubble. There we go. Now, a lot of people apparently get confused in this room, but it's actually extremely simple of a puzzle. You just want to go up these ladders. You hear a couple of bubbles, they're actually towards the back of the room. And you see these arrows. There are arrows pointed on the floor! See, Navi actually gives you the first hint. These arrows are actually indications of where you want to pull these blocks. See, the dungeon literally just tells you what you have to do. As soon as you get these blocks lined up to the corner, just turn around and begin pushing. Keep on pushing until you're not able to push anymore. Once that's done, you want to go down the path that you just opened up to find another ladder and an opening. There's actually nothing really down this path. Save for um, seeing where the green other green block is. Well, other green block. Actually, no, it's the same block. Basically, I want to push it all the way to the end over there. And then simply climb up. Over here, you see some more arrows. And also a place to place a, put a block. That would actually be... Um, for this red block, but you cannot um, pull it any forward because there isn't any space for us um, to go around the block. So what do we do instead? Well, we can go. Well, we've already gone up there. Other option: we'll go ahead, pull the block as much as we can. We must go back down to uh, where we pulled out the first green block. Just follow the arrows backwards. Well, not backwards, but... Over towards where the green block used to be. Oh my god, I got stuck on this puzzle? Just as I was finished telling you guys how easy and simple it is? Wow. <laughs> Anyways, you actually want to make your way over here. Now you see this um, eye symbol over there. Can't really do anything about that yet. As a matter of fact, all it does is just spawn a chest when you're able to do it. Anyways, finally got to where the red thing um, was. We can finally push it all the way towards where it's supposed to be. Let's jump down. Link, no, you want to jump down. Let go of the control pad. Jump down. Thank you. 
Go to where you push the block. Climb up. And now the red block is where is in a place where you can finally push it. Now that it's finally pulled all the way out, well, rather, we pushed it from the other side, that's what's going on. We can now finally push it all the way back here. Climb our way, all the way, all the way to the top. Go around this corner, find another ladder. Be ready to confront some bubbles just around the corner. And take care of the other bubble. Get a Deku Nut. Another eyeball. Can't do anything about it. Makes you wish that we had the slingshot, but unfortunately we do not. Thankfully, we do have some small keys so we can go ahead and unlock this door. This corridor is all twisted! Not only is the corridor twisted, but so is gravity. We get to the end over here. Navi will give us a warning. Watch out for shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling! The monster she's referring to is called a... Wall Master. What it will do is that it will fall down from the ceiling in the form of a shadow, and when it um, finally falls down on top of Link, it will drag him all the way back to the entrance of the dungeon. Thankfully, it's not too difficult to get back here because you can just go right back to the main room and then from the main room uh, just make your way through the block room and back here. Anyways, you saw one of the pose up there in that painting, but we can't really do anything about them because it's just a painting. Not the real thing, unfortunately. Anyways, just make your way through this door, find a gap in the hole, gap in the hole, now we see a hole in the ground. It's kind of acts like a gap. And we got a Stalfos to battle against. And a wall to battle against. You do not want to fall down that hole because it's gonna take you right back to the north part, northern room. Eh. It's gonna take you to the room north of where you first fought the Stalfos. However, that Stalfos, on the other hand, can totally walk over the hole, which is a little bit unfair. And by a little bit unfair, I mean very, very unfair. Anyways, once you take care of that one Stalfos, the floor will fill in, but you got two Stalfos to deal with now. If you take... I must warn you, if... Once you take down one Stalfos, you need to take care of the other one pretty fast. Because the first stealth because the second stealthos can actually revive the first fallen one. I'm taking a lot of hits. There's a lot of lag here. Just find the other one. Defeat you fast because, like I said, he'll take care of his, he'll revive his brother. In fact, you just heard him revive the brother, so I'll go ahead. Oh my god! I might actually... I was just about to say, I might actually die here. Because I kid you not, this is not a... This could be a very challenging battle. So I can attack. More lag. 
There we go. Ton of lag, by the way. Uh, a little bit disappointed in myself that I actually, um, <laughs> lost the, had to use a fairy there. Let's go ahead, recover our hearts. Wish there was a fairy here, but unfortunately not. Thankfully, there is a chest here. The chest will cane a fairy bow. This is pretty much the adult version of the slingshot. Okay, sorry about that, but uh, the snowplow trucks are just went right by my house. Well, my apartment, rather. Anyways, let's just go ahead. Now that we have the fairy bow, it's a good idea to rearrange your items a little bit. Put the hookshot over to the other side. Like I said, the fairy bow is pretty much the adult version of the fairy slingshot. I want to go ahead through this door. Now, is this the door that we want? Ah, uh, no it's not. I actually want to go to the opposite side of... ...where we wanted to fight those Stuffos. Go ahead, get over here. Guess I could have just paid attention to the symbol there. Anyways, what we're supposed to do is get up to this corner and get into a situation where you can actually use the arrows to aim at all of the paintings if you want to, including that one. What you want to do is, even though that it's not the real Poe, you want to shoot it anyways. That will destroy one painting, shoot the other one, Shoot you! Destroy all the paintings? And I wish that you can retrieve the arrows that you just shot. It's a nice little detail that they um, have the arrows lodged into the wall, but it's a little bit disappointing that you can't retrieve them like a real arrow. But anyways, our first, our first mini boss here, Beth, one of the Poe sisters. Poe. Anyways. Just treat them like any other Poe. Wait until they turn visible. And then attack. Probably should have had my sword out. Come on, turn visible. And I'll do a jump slash just so I can make this battle a lot faster. Come on, turn visible again. Keep your shield up. Either six normal slashes or three jump slashes. For defeating Beth, We'll just go ahead, get this chest, and there we go, we have obtained the compass. Now you actually want to go ahead, instead of continuing on, which we can't because the door up there is actually locked. And we finally ran out of small keys, so we're just gonna have to um, backtrack. If you remember, 
There were paintings over here as well. Let's go ahead. Use the same strike. Do what we did before for Beth. Probably better to get a better angle. There we go. Shoot you. Shoot you. And shoot you right in the face. This is Joelle, one of the Poe sisters. Well, you're a Poe, but you're yellow. I think I'm gonna call you Lala. Because, I don't know, every time I hear the name Poe, I think of the Teletubbies. Because... Zelda and, um... The Teletubbies are really the only media where I've heard the name Poe before. Sorry for ruining the Zelda franchise for you if, um... Oh no, you... Really can't imagine that I ruined the Zelda franchise just for that. Come on, hit Lala for Pete's sakes. There we go. Finally hit Lala. Maybe jump slashes aren't the best strategy for Joel. Now is it six slashes or just five? I just want to test something. Because technically I have four hits on her. Okay, it's just five. Go ahead and grab those arrows. Then open this chest. For yet another small key. Now, we're not gonna go all the way back to Beth's room. Instead, we're gonna go back to the block room. Which of course is gonna be up the stairs from the Joel Battle Room. Don't want to deal with the Wallmaster, so I'm just gonna quickly get out of the Wallmaster room. And take care of the bubbles. Which, by the way, bubbles are gonna be a lot easier because... Bubbles actually go down and just two hits with the arrows, and what's also really nice, you actually don't need to use your shield with the bubbles anymore. You can ask, the arrows will actually go right through their flame shields and handle things just like, and hit them normally. Also, I'm curious, I, in my practice run, I actually never got in this chest. I'm just curious as to what this chest is. I just really, really want to know. So hold on, let me go ahead. Not down there. Here we go. 
I just want to know, I, because I never opened this chest. What is even in this chest? Just arrows. Well, I'm not too disappointed. I knew it wasn't anything particularly important, but hey. Anyways, what you want to do, the real eye that you want to shoot, is the one above the door. Does it spawn a chest? Nope. It actually straightens out the hallway. Now I think I'll pull out the sword. Because of what we're gonna do... Gonna fall down here. I'll show you how to fight a wall floor master. Just start running. Or we're not gonna fight a wall master. Oh well, there is another floor master that in this dungeon that we can show off, but basically the idea, and we were supposed to fall down this hole anyways, but the idea was to actually um, lure it out, and then once the sound effect has finally ended, quickly just roll out of the way, turn around, and it'll go down in just three slashes, or just one jump slash and a regular slash. I just realized something. I actually have to go... I actually have to defeat the Floor Master for something. I just remembered! There was something else there! Oh shoot, I gotta go all the way back! Screw you, Dekababa! I gotta go back to that block room! Okay, maybe not fall through that hole and this time because we see that map on the screen we actually want that <laughs> yep wall monster watch out for its shadow destroy it before it goes back to the ceiling okay just do regular slashes okay Thought it was just a jump slash and then a regular slash, but okay. Anyways, these blue chests are essential. We got the boss key. That's right. The door to the boss room is also a locked door. But it is a special will always be a special kind of lock that small keys just won't work. In the original Legend of Zelda, if I remember. Boss keys can actually unlock any key in the dungeon, but in Ocarina of Time, the boss key and can only open the boss door. Now, we are safe to go down this hole. While we're up here, see that pillar with some hearts? Jump towards it. Be extra careful not to fall off, or else you will have to go through the block room again. Make your way over here. To the very end. Pull out our hookshot. And aim very precisely. That would be gold token number 53. Probably better to just 
keep my bit distance and let you attack normally. There we go. Anyways, go down here. You see this door ahead, right? Don't go in it. Instead, go through here. You get locked inside? With a new enemy, the Floor Master. A companion of the Wall Master, but will not take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. When it splits up, destroy the pieces before they reunite. Put up our shield, slash it. Then, take care of the small hands by using a splinter slash. Oh, no, get off, get off. I forgot that they grab onto you and, and we'll grow into a brand new one. Yeah, there we go. Yep, the last one standing, I forgot, will actually strangle Link, drain his energy, and then become a normal sized floor master. Bit annoying, but not devastating. I hate the wall, like I said, I hate the wall masters as well, but safely, um, in this dungeon, getting back to the room. All uh, wall master rooms are not too bad. Floor masters are even less devastating, just really annoying to kill. Anyways, now that we've taken care of that small that small key, we're gonna go through this door. And now we are actually right above the original block puzzle room. Yep, we've been visiting this room quite a bit. But, I think I'm going to end it here. If you like this part, go ahead and hit that like button. Feel free to leave behind a comment. And if you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Next time, we're going to take on the last two telepodies. I mean, Poe sisters. See you guys then.